What up, YouTube? Ed Weskergriff coming back with a PSA submission reveal video. Got five slabs to show off that recently came back. Overall, extremely pleased with the grades. I think they're very, very fair, and that's all I really ask for when I go to get my cards sent to be graded. So I'll talk about each card, where I got it, and why I think it got the grade it got. But I got these cards, I submitted them through JT, Triple Crown 24. It was the first bulk submission uh, that he started doing for PSA since taking over for Mike O, uh, PSA-wise, in the grading group. So if you want to check out the grading group with Mike O and JT, I'll leave the link down below. JT, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciate it. Did a fantastic job. Uh, wrote me a nice note here. Thanks for submitting. JT, Triple Crown 24. And JT actually hooked it up with a few extras as well. Sent me this cool rated prospect Donruss Optic of Alec Bohm. Did not have that. Really, really cool card for a Phils fan. And then also this refractor from Topps Chrome of JT Real Muto. So, thanks JT. He also included this. I'll probably open this in a separate video. Uh, Big League Baseball 2020. So JT knows I love open packs, busting packs. Haven't really been able to do that too much. So probably will do this in my next mail day video. I'll throw that in there. But now let's get on to the grades. Uh, like I said, overall, we had a really, really great grader, a uh, very fair grader. And the turnaround, I don't know if I mentioned that, the turnaround on this order was uh, 90 days, which is, uh, you're looking at three months. So that was pretty damn quick, uh, in my opinion, for PSA, especially on a uh, bulk submission. And I know previously... They were running around six to seven months. I know a lot of guys were getting back some of their submissions. So three months, turnaround, 90 days. That is very, very good. I'm very pleased with that. But I know that they rolled out a couple new policy changes recently, especially with login orders and getting things into the system, how that's going to take a couple more weeks. So that will probably push things back a little further, but still very, uh, very happy at the adjustments that PSA is making to, uh, to get uh, submissions processed and uh, to get the cards back to the collectors. So uh, very, very cool. But let's get into the cards now because that's why you're here. Uh, the first card here is from 2017 Topps Heritage Minor Leagues. This came back a mint nine of Juan Soto. So I bought this card, it was either at the 2019 National in Chicago or at the December Philly show. Definitely came out of a value box. This was originally in my SGC pile to send out, but figure I send this one to PSA. And I think it got the 9 because top to bottom, it, it looks like it's a little off-center. It's not perfectly centered top to bottom. Left to right looks good, but top to bottom there is a... It definitely doesn't look perfect. Uh, corners are great. Edges look fine. Uh, surface looked it over pretty closely. Nothing egregious. So I think it got uh, bumped down to the nine due to the uh, top to bottom centering. But still a great card to have and uh, can never go wrong with any slabbed Juan Soto. So the next card here is the only 10 I got. This is from 2018 Topps Chrome Update. This is the Pink Refractor Rookie of Ozzy Albies. Just a fantastic card. Pulled this one myself from a 2018 Topps Chrome Update value pack. So not too much else to say. Came back to Gem Min 10. Pulled it myself and happy to add it. Albies is a very underrated player. Uh, especially in the hobby, but if you watch baseball and you follow the Braves or you just follow baseball in general, you know uh, how productive he has been for them. Next card was another card that I pulled from 2018 Topps Chrome Update, but this is a gold refractor. This came back a mint nine. This is the Miles Mikolas. So, I uh, will say this one was a little bit of a disappointment. thought this was kind of a slam dunk to get a 10, but came back to mint 9. Did look it over more closely, and right by the 
cap here. There seems to be a slight surface issue. Not so much as a dimple, kind of like a very, very minor refractor line. So that's probably why that card got the Mint 9. Did not notice that when I was uh, sending this card out. But the golds are numbered out of 50. So, decent card. Believe this is a pop one with only two higher. So there's two tens out there, and now there's one nine. This next card is a huge card. Uh, wasn't a huge card when I sent it in. Is a huge card now. This is from 2019 Topps Chrome. This is the refractor. Came back a mint nine of Fernando Tatis Jr. And this card absolutely has exploded. Not sure what the tens are going for, but during the season when the Padres hype was through the roof and Tatis Mania was kind of going wild, I imagine that this card was selling for a pretty damn good penny. But this came back to Mint 9. I bought this at the Philly show, at the December show, from a value box, a more Mint N value box. This was actually $15. Uh, was able to get was the sticker price was fifteen dollars and was able to bundle it with a couple other cards. So I only paid ten dollars for this card raw, and uh, was really hoping for the ten, but it did not get the ten. And the reason it didn't get a ten is because right here on the yellow there is a very, very small dimple. So other than that, the card is pretty much flawless. Corners look sharp as hell. Edges are good. So, just that dimple kind of uh, docked it from being gem mint to a 9. But, glad to have this card back in the collection. And, uh, it will stay there. So, this is actually my only Tatis Chrome card uh, in my collection. I didn't really go heavy on Tatis. Um, was kind of one to see what he would do this year before starting to buy some of his rookies. But, yeah, that was not, a, that was not the best decision. But, at least I have this card. So at least I have one. And then the final card here is from 1990 Leaf. This is a damn this is a damn tough card to get a 10 on. I thought I had one, but this came back a mint 9. This is the Larry Walker rookie card from Leaf, uh, now a Hall of Famer. But bought this at the Philly show from a dollar box and I was with Ray from Philly at the time when I pulled this out of the dollar box and me and him both looked at it and we were really really surprised with how good this card looked uh, the corners are so sharp you know the center and to me looks pretty damn good especially left to right maybe a smidge maybe not 100% top to bottom but other than that there's nothing wrong with this card so this is just a extremely, extremely difficult card to get a Gem Mint 10 on. Actually, I was kind of surprised looking at the pop report on this card. Uh, the Mint 9s are over, I believe, 24 to 2,500. So this card's been graded 4,500 4, times, and there's less than 300 10s. Uh, but there is around 2,500 uh, nines. So the 9 to 10 ratio on this is uh, pretty staggering. So an extremely difficult card to get a 10 on. And really kind of kicking myself because years ago, I always told people, and I'm, you know, the Philly guys will know this, Mike O and Ray from Philly, I always talked about how Larry Walker was a Hall of Famer and would get in eventually. And uh, I remember the Gem Min 10 for Larry Walker was it was relatively very cheap. I think it was under thirty dollars for a, a very long time. But as soon as the results started to trickle in and it looked like his uh, chance for the Hall of Fame was a sure thing, uh, the cards kind of exploded and dried up, and for good reason. I mean, they're very very difficult to come by. But I am happy with the nine. Uh, enough of uh, all that pop report stuff. I am happy with the nine because at the end of the day, you got to remember, I pulled this out of a dollar box. I paid a dollar for it and then the cost to get it slabbed. And um, that's all I got into this. So that is very good. And it could have came back an eight because I've noticed that the eights are really, really starting to rise in this particular card. Uh, so you're not even guaranteed a nine cent in this card in now, but 
I'm happy to add this into the collection. So that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I have a lot more cards out for PSA. I pretty much have gotten in almost every month. I've gotten into JT's uh, submissions. And uh, check out the group. Uh, there's a lot of fun stuff going on. And um, I'll leave the link down below. So that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching the video. Good luck on your submissions if you're sending in. And take care. Enjoy the hobby, fellas. Peace.